uh, the college game. So I was a big college basketball player. You know, I watched college and then baseball, obviously. Uh, my father. If you're wondering how a global basketball legend like Michael Jordan lives and spends his billions, you've come to the right place. Prepare to pick your jaws up from the floor as we let you in on the spending habits of someone like MJ, the world's most famous, if not the greatest basketball player to have ever lived. But before we go any further, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of our next videos. Now, let's take a deep dive into the extraordinary lifestyle of Michael Jordan. First, let's reveal MJ's last known net worth. According to Forbes, as of 2021, Jordan is worth a whopping 1.9 billion US dollars. If you think this kind of wealth is unheard of for athletes, you wouldn't be wrong. In fact, the second richest athlete next to Michael Jordan is Tiger Woods with his $800 million fortune. This means even if you double the wealth of Woods, he still wouldn't overtake Michael Jordan in being the world's most affluent athlete. So how in the world did Michael Jordan acquire this kind of wealth? Aside from being the actual GOAT, let's run the numbers. Number 1. His salary as a player. The grand total of Michael Jordan's NBA career amounted to 94 million US dollars before taxes. He earned this much after 13 seasons with the Bulls and two more years with the Wizards. Oh, by the way, Chicago even paid the man a handsome salary of 4 million dollars for the 1993 to 1994 season, even though he opted to sit out to play minor league baseball. Guess it's not that surprising why the league decided to implement a cap on individual player salaries in 1999. But if you round up his $94 million salary to 100, it still wouldn't make up half of Michael's current net worth, right? So what really made the guy so stinking rich? Number two, his endorsement deals. Of course, you don't become the greatest of all time without picking up a couple of sponsors along the way. Brands paid very good money just to have this guy pose with their product or wear their apparel to an underground party somewhere. Some of his most most iconic endorsement deals were made with Nike, of course, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Chevrolet, Nike, Hanes, Gatorade, and Upper Deck. Taken all together, MJ earned a staggering total of 1.7 billion US dollars from these brand deals. So now you know that's where he got most of his fortune. As you might have guessed, Nike is Jordan's most significant sponsor. His very first five-year shoe deal with Nike was worth $500,000 per year starting 1984. And last year, he raked in no less than $130 million, four times bigger than the paycheck taken home by LeBron James, who had has the NBA's second biggest shoe deal. But that's not all. Number 3. Michael Jordan's Investment Deals Our guy here just doesn't take his paychecks home. He also constantly finds ways to grow his money through investments. Of course, one of his most lucrative business ventures was taking a 90% stake in the Charlotte Hornets, just in time for a price explosion. It was such a genius move that he was instantly able to cash out $1.5 billion by selling just 20% of his 90% share to a hedge fund. Now that you know exactly how rich MJ is and how he came upon such a wild fortune, it's time to see where he spends all his billions. First, real estate. Naturally, one of the first things Jordan secured for himself was his main dwelling that's fit for a king. In 2011, he bought a 26,000 square foot mansion in Florida, located within the golf lover's paradise known as Bears Club. The mansion boasts of 11 bedrooms sitting atop three acres of land. And if it wasn't enough that MJ paid close to $5 million for his property alone, he also splurged $7.5 million to enhance the place through construction and renovation. Talk about the finer things in life. Jordan also owns a lakefront property and a luxury condo in Charlotte, North Carolina. And who who can forget about the mansion he still owns in Chicago's Highland Park, which he notoriously built from scratch to accommodate all his favorite things in life, including an NBA-style basketball court, PGA-quality putting green, cigar room, wine cellar, nine bedrooms, and 19 bathrooms, along with 10 courts, fitness centers, and more. Second, a private jet. If you think Michael Jordan still flies business class, you're sorely mistaken. Of course, he has his own private first-class cabin on his own private jet, a Gulfstream G550 that bears the Jumpman logo and a call sign of N263MJ. He also charters a 130-foot yacht called Master Terrible, known for its eight cabins and, of course, a full-size basketball court, because even if Michael Jordan is in the middle of the world's most relaxing vacation cruise, there's just no way he wouldn't take the time to shoot some hoops. Third, a handsome collection of luxury cars. Of course, Jordan doesn't just travel across the country or the ocean. For casual trips to the mall or the local brunch, he alternates between an Aston Martin DB9 Volante, a Cadillac XLR, a Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren S722 Edition, a Porsche 911 Range Rover, Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano, and many others. How he manages to go anywhere with such a tough decision to make on the daily, we'll just never know. Fourth, his golf obsession. If you think basketball is the only sport Jordan would spend an arm and a leg on, you'd be wrong. In fact, his avid love for golfing has put a sizable dent on Jordan's earning, as he also takes his love for the sport to lavish extremes. Hating the idea of waiting his turn to swing his clubs, Jordan had built his own private golf course, aka Grove 23, 
free in Florida. As expected, it's even more glorious than many other professional grade golf courses in the world. He even sports a custom golf cart with the Jumpman logo up front. Fifth, security. This one's pretty self-explanatory. The richest of the rich always spend a significant amount of money protecting their assets, and Jordan is no exception. When he has to travel overseas, MJ always flies out with a personal security team, which costs him anywhere between $1,000 and $1,500 per hour. According to reports, Jordan's safe name for his security team is Yahweh, as the Hebrews called God himself. Interesting, right? Sixth, legal assistance. It's not hard to imagine why Jordan would ever need counsel assistance, especially with the multitude of deals and contracts Jordan is engaged in. You don't actually expect the man to sit down and pour over the terms and conditions of every contract himself, right? That's where his powerhouse team of attorneys comes in handy. At a cost, they keep a tight grip on MJ's franchises and copyrights. Jordan's protection team is not just all talk. In 2016, the basketball legend actually won a case against a Chinese sportswear brand that was using his name without permission or royalties. Being the king that he is, Jordan donated all the winnings to charity. Speaking of which, seventh, is philanthropy. It's hard to think of one important cause that MJ hasn't backed, at least financially. Take for instance, one of the latest money-making ventures he found himself engaged in. Of course, we're talking about his Netflix special, The Last Dance. It was revealed early on that all profits from the show will go to charity, including the Friends of the Children nonprofit, wherein the money was used to support the group's national expansion and work in Charlotte and Chicago, as well as other beneficiaries. The global health situation may have been hard for professional athletes, but even more so for staff and ordinary personnel who quite literally lost their only livelihood due to the lack of live gaming events. So for his part, Jordan pledged to pay arena workers for missed games during the stoppage. Not only that, in recent years, MJ has also cut seven-figure checks towards hurricane relief efforts in both the Bahamas and the Carolinas. He has also consistently supported the Make-A-Wish Foundation as one of its most generous donors and wish granters for more than three decades now. MJ also contributed $7 million US dollars for the Novant Health Michael Jordan Family Medical Clinics, which is touted to provide free and accessible medical services to underprivileged families of the Charlotte community. Though for now, the clinic has ceased its normal operations during the global health situation and is serving as assessment center for patients with respiratory systems or a doctor's referral. But hey, in the interest of fairness, let's also shed some light on Jordan's not-so-wise financial choices. Eight gambling. While it's pretty normal for athletes and even A-list celebrities to get hooked on vices like cigars and alcohols, as with everything he does in life, Jordan takes it a step further by being absolutely addicted to gambling too. Some troubling estimates say Jordan could be much, much richer than he currently is if he hadn't lost a significant portion of his fortune on unsuccessful gambles. He was once known for his $1,000 pledges on just a single round of golf, and that's apparently scratching the surface on Jordan's gaming and gambling obsession. Apparently, Jordan's love for placing bets on just about anything knows no bounds. It was even reported that he once took $500 from a fan after winning a bet. And it's not just for high-stake competitions that Jordan does this. One time, he even threw down big money just to reach level 100 on the video game Bejeweled. As such, it's not too alien to imagine Jordan placing bets even on playtime hobbies like checkers or Sudoku. It's hard to put a pin on just how much Jordan has wagered and lost on gambling, but let's just say he could easily be a multi-billionaire instead if not for all these silly bets. That ends our rundown of how Michael Jordan acquired his net worth and what he spends all his money on. That's okay, you can pick up your jaws from the floor right now.